There's a company called Behay that's created the first grounded barefoot running shoe, and one of the co-founders reached out to me to see if I was interested in trying it out. I've heard about grounding and earthing, mostly in passing, and I'll admit, I've been skeptical. It kind of sounds like a woo-woo concept, but I'm open-minded, so I figured this was the perfect opportunity for me to learn more about grounding and test these shoes out. And as a friendly reminder, even when a product is gifted, I'm always going to give you my honest thoughts. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And I've included timestamps so you can click around the video as needed. So what is grounding exactly? Grounding is the practice of making direct physical contact with the earth to help balance the electrical charge in our bodies. Long story short, radiation from the sun as well as lightning strikes keep earth's surface constantly charged with electrons. Now our bodies are good conductors of electricity, and the idea is that when we make direct physical contact with the earth's surface, electrons from the earth flow up into our bodies and act as antioxidants to neutralize the positively charged free radicals that build up in our bodies. Now free radicals are unstable molecules that over time can cause damage to our cells. And while free radicals are created as a byproduct of regular normal metabolic processes, they also come from external sources such as pollutants, chemicals, all sorts of stuff in our modern world. Let's add two things into the mix. Shoes made from synthetic materials and spending less and less time outdoors. That's gonna build up the positive charge in our bodies and it can contribute to health issues down the line. There are some studies that show that grounding has the potential to reduce stress, inflammation, and pain, as well as improve sleep, circulation, and overall mood and sense of well-being. To be perfectly honest, I haven't had time to dig into each of these studies. I do have a lot of them printed out, but I just haven't gotten there yet. But overall, I think more research is needed in this space. But studies aside, I do feel like there is a common sense aspect to it. We evolved as a species being in physical contact with the earth and it's not until recently that we've become disconnected. Okay, to avoid going down that rabbit hole, how can shoes be grounded? Put simply, the soles of grounded shoes are made with conductive materials so you're still able to electrically connect with the earth. But it's important to note that the surface you're standing or walking on matters. Soil, grass, sand, and gravel, those are best. But I've read that you can still ground on concrete and brick. However, asphalt, vinyl, carpet, and wood, even wood, which really surprised me, they're not conductive, so you can't ground on those surfaces. But anyway, I love that we're starting to see more grounded shoe options out there. And with that said, let's talk about Behay's Revive Barefoot Shoe. First, I gotta say how impressed I am with the guys who run this company. I can tell they're really passionate about the work that they do, and they were able to give me so much information about grounding when I asked for any resources that they could share. They had first created a grounded running shoe that was a more traditional shape. And while that was a huge success, they received a lot of requests asking for a barefoot version of that shoe. Just like any barefoot shoe, they have a wide toe box, a zero drop heel, and thin, flexible soles. The sole is 10 millimeters thick and the insole is removable. They're wide enough for you to be able to wear toe spacers or to just spread your toes and they don't look like clown shoes. They look like normal running shoes, which is a huge plus. They are breathable, which is a must for me because I live in Houston, Texas where it is extremely hot and humid. The area around the ankle has just enough cushion, so all around, it's just, it's a really comfortable fit. And I also like that the company prioritizes sustainability and they use plant-based and recycled materials throughout the shoe. As far as sizing goes, I'm normally a seven and a half. Now they don't offer half sizes at this time. It's something that I hope they will incorporate as the company grows but I printed out the size guides for size seven and size eight and determined that I'm gonna go with the size eight. I would much rather have a shoe that is just a little bit too big than just a little bit too small. So the size eights feel a little bit big, but really it doesn't, it just feels like I have more room. Like I'm not having any issues with the shoe staying on my foot. So it's actually super comfortable. I'd say that their size guides are accurate and if you're in between sizes, I would recommend sizing up. I actually think that this would be a great barefoot shoe for someone who is in the beginning stages of their barefoot shoe journey. 
While the sole is flexible, it's not as flexible as some of the other shoes that I've tried in the past. And I think that that's something they can improve on over time. But I think that also might make this shoe more accessible for people who are newer to barefoot shoes. Now when they release these shoes, they'll be water resistant. This particular pair does not have that finish on it, so I can't really test out that capability. Now just looking at it, I would guess that this outer portion right here is gonna be more water resistant. Like this, this whole mesh situation going on here. This is, I mean, this is where you're getting all the breathability, which is what I care about. But if there's a downpour or if you happen to step in a giant puddle and submerge part of your foot, your foot's probably gonna get wet. The traction seems decent and I think you'd be fine using these walking or running on a trail that isn't too extreme. And mad respect to the guys who run this company because they get these shoes third party tested to ensure that they have the same level of conductivity as our skin. And I went ahead and bought a continuity tester to make sure that yes, indeed, these guys are grounded, they are conductive. And sure enough, they passed the test even when I'm wearing socks. One of the biggest things that I've noticed since testing these shoes out and learning more about grounding is just how little time I've been spending on natural surfaces lately. I walk mostly on concrete, and based on what I've read, it seems like concrete is conductive when it's wet. Well, it hasn't been raining, so walking on concrete isn't going to help me reap any of the benefits of grounding. I've started becoming more intentional about walking around my local park where they have dirt paths, and it's been a really nice change of scenery. I'm also trying to spend more time in my backyard barefoot, but sometimes my attempts are short-lived because fire ants are no joke. So do I feel better or do I feel different in any way walking or being on surfaces that I know are grounded? I don't know. I don't think so but I also wasn't expecting to feel a profound shift. It's definitely something that I want to explore further, but I don't think grounding should be viewed as a cure-all. I think it's something that should probably be incorporated into your routine in addition to other healthy habits. It's all the little things that we do consistently that make a difference over time. Overall, I really like these shoes and the concept behind them. Now they're gonna be launching these on a pre-order basis. So if you pre-order them between August 1st and August 13th, you'll get 10% off of your order and you can expect to get them in December. And Behay was kind enough to give me a discount code that would get you an additional 10% off. So you would get 20% off of your order and that's pretty sweet. I love what these guys are doing and I'm so excited to support their launch. So a big thanks to them for letting me test these shoes out and let me know if you have any questions. And in the meantime, I picked out a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy. So I will see you in the next one.